Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, tonight, we are doing the Ion Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica. I also go by I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram and other places that people are online. Um, and I will be your shenanigans sovereign for the night. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to run you through our shows that we have on the channel. So Tuesday nights, starting June 6th. Don't cut, don't quote me on that because it's quite possible that someone has a game that goes just a little long, but should be. Starting June 6th, we have State of the Union, a shadow run campaign at 7:30 EST um, PM, obviously. Um, and uh, and it's gonna be run by Coddlesworth. So I'm really excited for that. Thursday nights, we have the Lost Continent at nine o'clock uh PM EST by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by the one and only Telerius Game Master. And alternating Sundays, we have Rumors of Magic at 7.30 p.m. EST by our awesome and amazing James here, Masrix24. Now, don't forget to follow us on our TikTok, Discord, YouTube, all that fun stuff. And someone else start talking. Let's see. Um, Daniel? That's me. I'm a Daniel. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. And tonight I will be playing Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock who has made a new friend who's cute and adorable and a tiefling and a child. And we're going to find her parents and keep her safe. Yeah, let's, let's, let's have a grown man say I made a new friend that's a child again. Please. <laughs> Please. Shut up. We are going to help her find her parents. You're weird. Sorry. I'm not weird. Sorry. You're weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody, I'm, I'm, somebody, I'm in a mood. Somebody take over before she embarrasses me more. Uh, Caro. We find the mute button. Hello, I'm Caro. Um, I will be playing Gilly Ghislaine, the water genasi barbarian who's just joined the party. Hooray. <laughs> James? Jamesy. Hey. Jamesy! Hey. Hello. They were yelling at me, Jamothy, before the session. So this is just canon uh, at this point. But hi, I'm James, uh, known throughout the internet as uh, Mesrix or Mesrix24, depending on where you find me. Um, resident chip fanatic player of either R of Day's Ark, our <clears throat> human uh, druid, or uh, potentially, depending on dice rolls and how I feel when I wake up, most like you know most people uh varian arbor the sort of smarmy storm sorcerer that uh, inhabits the same body uh so uh, i'm gonna have fun <laughs> regardless of what happens because i'm with my friends so let's see what happens all right all right so last time in aa episode 59 tridents t tridents and tigers and tieflings oh my Jolting awake, Arev discovered that he had been trapped in his own body again, this time for a while. An awkward yet delectable breakfast was overshadowed by fading memories of a captivating elf with long pink hair. Pressing onward towards Arev's home, a thunderous roar erupted. The unmistakable hungry cry of Sasha, his mother's pet white tiger. A timely intervention saved a potential clash between said tiger and a blue-haired freckled elf brandishing an enormous fork, question mark? Gilly, a champion of the ocean, recognized the party and joined their ranks. A rev sought, a, sought answers from Sasha, who revealed the heartbreaking truth. His mother was lost. And as they hunted for food for the large cat, a hilarious mishap <laughs> occurred when a rev forgot to disable speak with animals. Poor Billy. <laughs> With Gilly as their new companion, the party's journey unveiled an astonishing revelation. A lost pink tiefling princess, possibly linked to Phalus's racist brother and future eldest druid of Rhea. It, the intrigue deepens. So, here we are. You guys, I believe um, Arev has Raybella in his arms. And you guys are just trying to follow the tiger as wafts of like, um, almost like, 
every time the tiger steps into somewhere, it kind of just loses its memory and what its purpose is, what it was doing. Little puddles of that seem to be coming through the air. If I remember correctly, I had cast Detect Magic Ritually, which should still be active, so that I can actually, once we caught up with Sasha, I should be able to, like, see where they are and sort of, like, steer Sasha past them, if she's willing to listen. <laughs> She'll listen to you. You are, you're her family. So then, um... We had sort of just caught up with her and tested this theory and caught up with her like it because I went in, I forgot, Damascus went in, he forgot, and we kind of we, we confirmed that this is what's happening. So um I go <laughs> Sasha. Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Yep. What? Uh Oh, that's tricky. Because both of those are concentration spells, right? It's both speak with animals and detect magic. Mm, are they? Ooh. I, I, so I, you, I, I have don't to... know if you could talk to them. Double checking. Yes, it is. Oh, I have to pick one or the other. All right, so you have, you have to pick one. But she'll be able to understand you. Okay, so then I think I would choose to have detect magic. Speak with up. animals is not. Speak with animals is not concentration? Oh, then we're fine. Speak with animals is not. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought they were both concentration. Uh, that is so fantastic. Hmm. Uh, so both, both rituals. Hmm. Sasha. <laughs> yes. So you know how you've been getting confused, right? Mm -mm. No, don't don't eat don't eat my head. <laughs> no. Okay, you can have one lick. And then there's just big tongue all over your face. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. <sighs> the hairballs get easier to explain once I'm back in Rhea. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So You trust me, right? Yes. I, much like you, can smell tasty things very far away. I can see confusing spaces that you might walk into. So if you allow me to, mm -hmm. I can, I can tell you where those will be, and then maybe your nose can actually track mom. Okay. We can do that? No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh -huh. did, did mom have uh -huh. these sharp... Did mom, did mom have somebody do work on your teeth? These seem sharper than normal. Mm -mm. Uh, th these are just your teeth. Uh -huh. Stop chewing bones, Sasha. We told you this. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, he like kind of like <laughs> muscles his way through the jaw, and then he's like, "Would would it make you feel better if I sat on your back? Like if you had me nearby? Do you just miss me?" There's a pause. She looks left. She looks right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and he like sort of like taps her shoulder, trying to like get her to to lower down. And you, from in your arms, you feel a little like tug on your hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> then, Monsieur, can can I ride the tiger? Oh, uh, uh, of course, Ravella. I uh, so this may seem bizarre to you. I, I say to this child in my arms. But although this tiger has displayed every intention of eating both of us over the last five minutes, I promise you it's the equivalent of a kitty nibbling on you. I know. She's a good girl. 
Oh, you can understand her? Yes. Well, all right. Uh, Sasha, you mind picking us up? Sasha will uh, bend down for you to get on. I extricate myself from her mouth stealthily <laughs> and uh, uh, there's like a snap as you get away like oh. not that tasty <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I lift Rebella and I put her up and I go I guess behind her so that I can like jockey and like keep her safe but also like hold on to the fur so Rebella is kind of like caught in my arms but safe you see her she has her hands on the t in the tiger's fur and she's just back and forth like oh, like she's kneading the cat it's she's making the happiest biscuits. thing yeah she's making biscuits uh Sasha is loving it and you get jostled from side to side as you walk or as you sit and she walks Yes, and so I just turn back and I I call to the, you know, the rest of the group. So <clears throat> I have been graced by the, uh, being allowed to ride. So please follow where we walk, and you won't get confused. Uh. Faisa will kind of lean in towards you, Damascus, and be like, I did not have this on my bingo card. Definitely not. Neither did I, but it's not a bad idea. And I turn to Paz, who's riding on my shoulders, and go, one day I'm going to make you big and you're going to let me ride on you, won't you? <laughs> a little hiss. Just... No, it'll be fine. We'll be able to fly, fly through the air. you got wings. It'll be great. He says you're crazy. Oh, right. You can understand. I'm not. Cr I'm going to learn how to speak so I can understand you, too. She's flown off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything that anyone wants to do as you manage to avoid these little pockets of, I don't know, forgetful mist? That's cute. Forgetful mist. Forgetful mist. Good catchy. I like it. Um, I think I will kind of fall in and, and chat up our new compatriot and just lean in, like fall back and kind of fall into step beside you, Jilly, Gilly, and just so. You're a sailor by trade. Sure am. Well, what was the voice I was doing? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> Just vaguely Australian, Australian, I think. Yeah, yes, it was vaguely Australian. <laughs> sure am. Yeah. Although I've spent a uh, changed career paths in the last couple of years, I still consider myself a sailor. I don't think one ever really truly retires from the sea, uh, but. Nowadays, I mostly uh, I dive for spell components, and I've got a quite bustling trade in those with the university that's in town. That Primarily. Problems. Also some other wizard types. Those bitches need pearls like crazy. <laughs> I, I hear it's useful. No, that, that tracks. I literally know nothing about, uh, about horn other than big university of magic so i assumed everybody there was wizardly type not everybody but they're all over the place doing the creepy shit is everyone in in drax did a bard damascus <laughs> no but they should be <laughs> only the in interesting people it's a good point okay. all right cool uh, i'm gonna keep walking cool Bad up, Linda. All right. Well, that's a interesting pastime you got there. This is a family trait. No. <laughs> oh no. 
not at all actually <laughs> uh no my parents are actually the uh the wizarding types they actually work at the university so they're not oh. exactly thrilled with my uh personal career path but they've gotten used to it Fair enough I mean, you're isn't the the wizard or the wizard isn't the ocean like super dangerous so yes yes it is uh you should not go near it uh don't do as i do i seem to be an exception i don't know or i'm lucky at this point considering i have talked to the ocean uh i am assuming that i am indeed an exception she seems to like me i mean you're a likable sort but that hardly seems like sufficient reason for something that dangerous to be making an exception yeah That's you know man who slept who knows. with Bella? <laughs> you did what <laughs> i mean all right yeah just like like once or twice three uh, i'm yeah, pretty sure imagine, he's currently mate. engaged to her and he's friend zoned her so oh, that's great shit. <laughs> no uh, friend zones a heart i let her down gently and let her know that she's still important and that uh I'm hoping her and Tamina get back together, and so it becomes a problem that I don't have to worry about anymore. She does so not far, take so good. it well at I, all. I, at this Sorry point, hanging around you, mate. Are we going to get like struck by lightning or something? Maybe. Yeah, uh, it's oh. possible. At, at this point, Sasha has stopped, and you just see Arev looking over his shoulder while you two are continuing to walk and talk about this. And he looks back and goes, "Really, Damascus? Now?" <laughs> What? We're we're talking about this now? What traveling? I'm just trying to get to know our new companion. I Faza? Yes. I apologize on his behalf. Okay. He's 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 pretty. It makes up for his stupidity sometimes. I, I, I pet Sasha's I shoulder. And I I'm go sorry, what? Hey, Sasha. Hmm? You know how I tell you not to eat people? Yes? I'll let you know if he's an exception. I could, I could eat him? Just a not nibble. yet. A little nibble? Maybe. Maybe. It's like a finger. We'll talk about it. I don't think I quite grasp the complicated social dynamics of this party yet. Oh, um, oh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Faza, and um, I'm not real, sort of, kind of, maybe. I was made out of like clay or something, and then raised um with my twin brother, who's not this asshole who pretends to be my brother, but he did look like him. And then we were supposed to be sacrifices to something, some sort of like bring back the darkness or something like that. Anyways, I met Damascus. He saved me and they stopped that. But Devin didn't make it. So he died. And then the bell that he, the thing that he, the, and the sexing and um, put Winter's soul, Vitor's soul in, in my brother's dead body. So now he kind of is here pretending that he's my brother, but he's not. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. My condolences? Thank you. That's very much appreciated. Oh. And are yeah. you two like a thing? Pointing between Faza and Damascus? Is this, <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing a thing. Should I not be talking about the thing? No, we don't talk about the it's thing. Fine. No, it's okay. it's good. Okay. No, we're talking okay. about the thing. Put an arm around okay. She starts getting she starts getting bright red. <laughs> what do you think, Dylan? Are we a thing? <laughs> uh, that's a thing. I love it. Okay. Hey Kelly, I know you're not a cat person, but uh do you want to lift? You know, I think I might keep walking. Um 
seeing as how you're handing out exceptions to naughty people <laughs> rules, I might actually hang back here for a bit till I get oh. tired. Hang, hang on. Hey, Sasha. Mm -hmm. You see the one you thought was a snack earlier? Yes. Smells like fish. Never a snack. To be fair, I, I, I can't make you that promise. I, I have been called a snack by many people. <laughs> They're not wrong. I, by large cats, they are predators, though. It carries an entirely separate what? weight. That's no. true. Ratty. Stop, stop, stop. And he walks <laughs> away. He also goes red. <laughs> I be... Shut up. <laughs> uh, are you guys going to travel through the night tonight? I mean... Do we think speed is important? It might be. I would value finding my mom. Yeah. Okay. We can travel before, tonight. like before anything happens, and like I, I can see these confusion pockets, right? Yes. And like they've been moving, so there's no guarantee that if one of you takes watch, that one doesn't come across us while we're sleeping. I, I would convey this like as a rev to the group. I. Uh, if it came up. So. Okay. I, uh, I normally hate going without my beauty rest, but. I will put out there like as the reason. DM. I will put out there as the DM. You will take a level of exhaustion. If you go more than mm -hmm. however many hours without sleep. Do we still Where have a we... charge on the condo? Yes, like it's you get it. You get that condo once a day. Did the confusion stuff go into the condo? Um, does anyone want to make me an Arcana check? Not me. Yeah, plus three. That's better than me. So do it. <laughs> ah, that's a six. Oh no! Everyone Definitely. can do that roll if you want. Sure, why not? Can, can Faza do that roll? I got a everyone natural do one. Oh, oh my boy. god, no clue. So, <laughs> um, considering I have this wonderful thing as a druid, uh, Circle of the Stars, called uh, Knowing Guidance as a Cantrip, <laughs> I'm going to cast Guidance on myself. Do it. And um, so, so, so that's my shirt, Twitch. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, it's actually a really nice shirt. It's got long sleeves, like gray, and it's also green. It's I like it a it lot. It's comfy. Uh, it's really. Good. It's very thin though. So like even on this like hot summer's day, I'm just talking while I get my dice out because it's better to talk than do nothing. So, um. Oh look, that's a baby Grogu. And the chat. There's a baby Grogu in chat. Is it? Am I blind? Oh no, it's totally Grogu. Grogu. It's Grogu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also enjoying the Jesus in chat. Jesus. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll for Arcana, even though I have plus zero. And I mean, that's a bad start, but hey, hang on. Let's um get that good old 1d4. Oh, my God, Another a, one. A grand old total of seven. Seven. It's the best we've got so far. Oh, seven. Jesus. Uh, that's everybody, winter included? Oh, uh, oh. I forgot. It's got a 19. Oh, I've 19. got... I was there doing we go. Winter. Um, okay. winter. Oh, sorry, sorry. Faisa knows no, what she's about. Faisa looks at you and goes, oh, Guys, how many times have I had to go through this with you? It's a pocket dimension. We don't exist here anymore when we're in there. So it can definitely come in. Fuck's sakes, Damascus. Sometimes I wonder why I'm with you. Then I... Re okay, yeah, no, it's your, still your face. But come on! All right. Okay? Um, it's a completely safe space. We'll be... All right, fair enough. So we can take a rest if we need to, but... Yeah. Question is... 
or have it's it's your mom who's missing. If you want to push on, we push on. Do you have uh any of those like aug- augurys that are called or anything like that? The you could uh, add a little answer. Like from the star map, you mean? Like like like, my, like the my, spell? Uh oh, um that's a good question. Do I have augury? Um no, I don't believe I do. Um because it's not one of the spells that was granted to me through my god, and it is not something that I currently know. So no, I do not know Augury. Okay. Well, you have a choice to make. What does thou do? Hmm. So this this is kind of a it's kind of a stretch, but uh, DM, let me know what you think. I can't cast augury. However, I do have my cosmic omen. So whenever I finish a long rest, I'm supposed to roll a die. Um, I have not done that yet for since the long rest. But until I finish my next long rest, I gain a special reaction based on the die roll. And uh, if it's, you know, wheel or woe, it's basically like a, like a good or bad omen. So okay. could I somehow stretch that considering you were asking whether I have augury, maybe to like consult my cosmic omen to tell me whether it's a good or bad idea to like by checking whether I'm wheel or woe right now, kind of tell me or guide me to whether it's a good or bad idea or is that like asking too much i'll I'll allow it cool all right um so then i'm going to get my wonderful beautiful unicorn d6 from d in denial uh it's very cute unicorn it, it so it's got i don't know i knew those were perfect when i saw them for you i was like yes no these are Okay, These need so, to be yours. Yes. So <laughs> this this is like the yellow bottom. I'm trying to like get my camera to focus. But there's a little unicorn on the inside standing on the yellow side. I can't get that to focus. It's not gonna focus. Oh wait, I kind of see a little I, thing. Yeah, I feel there, like I'm yeah. getting the idea of it. Yeah, there's like a unicorn there. I'm sorry, chat, but it's in there, I swear. Delightful. Eh. Eh, bring light you feel. Oh yeah, me. I kinda I kinda I kinda get the gist. But okay. I I mean I should. I gave I gave them to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. So, anyways, um, so Arev sits there and he starts fiddling with his uh telescope. So, Gilly, this is the first time that you've probably seen Arev mess with this, but there's sort of like a like like a brass and brass and glass like compact, um lens that he extends and it's like a little sort of telescope with tons of carving and striation on it but it's it's definitely like an an intricate feature and as he's playing with it he kind of runs his fingers along it and then he goes ah and he like holds it up and there's like a bit of blood running down his finger and he goes oh uh that's that's not a good sign Mm. I'll fix it. I I don't I don't think we should rest. Fair enough. I'm up for an all all nighter. Alright. Let's press on. Lead the way, mate. As you uh go to start walking again. You'll see that Ravella will take your finger and do like your hand will glow a little pink and she'll fix that little that little cut that you just got. So you've got some magic, Ravella. Yeah. Huh. Well. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, she was just going to settle back in on the tiger. Then I sort of grip it to Sasha's fur and I look back to my friends on the ground and look forward and say, lead on, Sasha. Let's go find mom. You continue on your way. Um, as you continue, you... Mm, somebody roll me a d20. Who's the best roller? I rolled a 16. 16. That's pretty good. All right. All right. All right. High or low? Oh, somebody else back. Hi. Hi. Okay. 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 So as you're continuing on, you notice that it's starting to get darker and darker and darker. And that's weird because it never really gets dark on Iowan, or it hasn't at least for thousands and thousands of years. But we're definitely moving past a, a twilight here. This seems like a bad sign. It's coming down. And That's... I'm just going to make... Do we all have dark vision? I have dark vision. Uh, yes. Everybody nope. except yeah. a rev. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on a tiger? It's fine. That's true. Sash has got dark vision. Oh, Seeing I'm eye tiger. fine. I can create <laughs> starlight motes. You can. So you've created I... your starlight motes and they, they float around you. And as they go by you, uh, you see Ray Bella just kind of lights up every single time because they're pretty. <laughs> um, you continue on and with my roll, nothing bad happens. You guys are Yay. making good time. You're avoiding. Yes. Hmm? Just, oh, I was just uh, saying good. Oh. As um, Ray Bella has fun with this, right? I noticed that. Yeah. Oh, so, 100%. She's she's loving this. Like she'll put her hand out for it every time. So and as the starlight moments are swinging around, I think I have two at level 10. Um so I I have the two sort of swirling around, but I take one and I I just like ever so slightly as it comes into her hand, kind of like have it sort of like a light like a firefly, but every single time it does, I break it apart into sort of a cascade of sparks just past her hand. So she's sort of like playing with these like uh these like glowing like lights and they just kind of like go psst, 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 with the giggle psst. with the giggle only a child possesses. <laughs> you hear that every single time. Just pure delight. Because like I, I can't make them bigger or make more, but I, I can make them kind of like fluff without changing any sort of right. So like I, I bring these like moats around and then as like she tries to like catch them or whatever, I just kind of go like Yeah, she's having a great time. Um, and you guys continue that way for quite a while. Um, eventually, she'll start to yawn a bit and kind of settle back into you because she's tired. Uh, and you guys continue through. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Another roll. Someone, Somebody anyone? Else did this time. Carol, do it. Okay. Ooh. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen. <laughs> no, it's not like... <laughs> Ooh, okay. We're having That's this. That's how it works. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's not. It's not bad. Okay. Um, it actually works really well. As you guys are starting to travel, and it's a lot darker than you're used to, a moment passes at some point, and you're... You've all realized everything's kind of pitch black for a second there. Uh, insight or perception checks, everyone? Yes. Uh oh. Where's my freaking 11? 13. You said insight or perception? Uh, perception, sorry. Oh, just perception. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it was 14 for a rev. 
and four for winter. Okay. Okay, so got a six. Okay. So Everyone that's like above 10, because she's not exactly trying to hide this, but everyone that's above 10 will see a shadow kind of appear beside Faza. Faza, Winter, nothing, not a clue. They're too busy bickering before a, a gray hand reaches out from that shadow and grabs Faza's chin and just forcibly turns her to look at to look No, at thank Two you. orange eyes appear out of the darkness and tower over her and go what have we here ah uh, we recognize the <laughs> shadow it's Mina I will immediately stop the second I see the shadow I'll immediately stop and rush up to face the side uh, I, I hold Sasha anyone... to a halt I guess you Gilly probably that... would Gilly recognize Tamina or like do people know what ooh, ooh. The gods no, look a like? lot of people do not. She's been erased from most of history, right? She is known as the darkness, as fear, as every bad thing that's kind of like ever existed. Her name is whispered. And we're gonna nat 20 that. All right. But you know all about her. You were shown by your <laughs> goddess. You were shown exactly who she was looking for. Not that your friends here may know that, but her mother's back and hasn't come to pay her a visit. Ah. Well, we found one, Mom. <laughs> what you see, Gilly, is a woman, an elven woman with long black hair put up in like a very delicate bun every aspect of her is gray and black other than her eyes which are a bright fiery orange she is regal looking she is intimidating it she looks like almost every ounce of color is getting sucked out of her and the world that just just around her as she walks i think gilly looks around her to see if she's supposed to be like curtsying or something if nobody else seems to be paying deference, then she's just going to uh, hope not to be noticed. And we're going to roll for Damascus something. is showing <laughs> deference. He's running up to Beza, worried that something bad's about to happen. You see her. She has her chin. She kind of leaned down and goes... And insight. No, 20. Oof. 20. She doesn't... It's... As she, like, smells her and takes some whatever scent that Faze is putting off, she goes... She glowers. Like, this is not something that she wants. Whatever is happening right now. And as she kind of stops a second, her eyes take in all of you. One by one, they land on you. And she looks at you, Gilly, and she goes... That's interesting, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and who sent you? Um, oh, funny story. Actually, uh, I was sent to find this lot, uh, by um. Oh, you know her. She says hi. Uh, do you want to make me an insight check? I would love that. Uh-oh. 13? 13, that's enough. It's enough. Okay. You you passed a shit test. You didn't know you were you were getting. You didn't lie to her. Yay. But what's happened here? But what has happened here? As she again jerks phases kind of face around a little bit. And you've never you've she's been around Faza a lot. She's never manhandled her before. I think Damascus will walk up and just put like a hand on Faza's shoulder and 
not pull her away, but gently like kind of get himself as close to being between them as he can. He's not stupid enough to think he can pull her away, but what seems to be the problem? What do you, you're what missing are you talking one about? of it's... you. And then you hear there's a beat and you hear Bella. And Tamina disappears in front of you. Is there anything that you would like to do? Uh, Ten. Nine. Mask is. Eight. I, I, we can go into her realm and see what the hell just happened. Is, is this not the one yes. that's mad at you? Uh, no, that, that's Five. her girlfriend. Oh. Four. Shit. What? I don't know what uh, what just happened. Three. I don't two. Know what we We're just waiting. One. I pull my loot and I cast daylight. As you cast daylight, the entire jungle fills with this bright yellow light that reflects off of everything, a stark contrast to the darkness that you were just submerged in. Your eyes water. Some of you have to cover your eyes. And in an instant in front of you, Beloth is standing there, but not alone. Her wrist being held by a very angry looking Tamina, having been ripped from her own realm. Uh, had Bella uh, announce your presence. She looks livid. You can tell. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it up to you guys. Give me some perception checks. Insight if you want. You roll. Tell me what you're rolling to to investigate this. 21 on site. Yeah, I'm, I... I... Prefer insight for sure. Okay. I'm doing perception. That's better for okay. me. 18. 18. Okay. Are we good? Uh, I got an 18. 18. All right. So with the two 18s that we have here, with perception, you can see that the area that is being held by Tamina's hand, that her that wrist is pulsating with light and power and enough that it's starting to cause blisters down Tamina's arm, but she is holding her unflinching. Like this doesn't even matter to her, right? With the 18 insight, you can tell that Beloff is terrified right now. That nothing like this has ever happened. She was literally physically just ripped out of her own realm. With your, was it 21? Mm -hmm. Tamina is not going to hurt her. You can tell that there's no, like, mat, like, there's no, I'm just, she's not going to cause physical pain to anybody right now. She's not here to hurt. But there's about to be a showdown. I'm, I'm going to try something that I'm probably going to regret. Oh, God. Um, okay. Okay. Before I do, I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm going to use a, the thing that lets me give myself Bard's Inspiration. Um, okay. Do that. And then I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to try and calm her down. Uh, I'm going to just take a step forward and go... To me, I ain't sure what's going on or what you think is wrong with Beza, but whatever's going on, whatever Bella did, we're all on the same side here. We're all working towards the same goal. I'm sure whatever happened, she did it for a good reason. Why don't we all get a seat? Maybe make some tea or something, and we can figure out what what is happening here. You want to roll me persuasion? I would love to, because I was I was debating casting a spell, but I don't think I can. I can <laughs> that would be the spell. stupidest fucking thing yeah. you could ever do. Uh, persuasion. Cast a spell on God. No big deal. No big deal. 
Just calm it. emotions on God. Let's go. <laughs> as you uh, as you say this, and before you do your roll, you do notice that in that split second, Belloth's arm kind of comes out and starts to slither in between you and where and Tamina, so that if anything were to happen right now, she's trying to help. Protecting. Okay. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Good side. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's two on the dice, but I'm an eloquent bard, and the lowest I can roll is a ten on a persuasion roll. Okay, I did get an eight on my bardic inspiration, so okay. that is ten plus eight is eighteen. My persuasion is very good, thirteen. Eighteen plus thirteen is thirty-one. Okay, that's that an really bard. good. Okay, that's really good. Them. You see her I talk eyes. Good. It's the only thing I'm good at. You see her eyes flicker towards you. And then towards the motion that Beloth has just just so slightly done. And she composes herself just a second. She goes, that one is mine. And she points to Faiza. Tell me why there is not she is not any longer. Well, I mean, she and I have been kind of. Can I roll an yeah, insight that- on Faiza? Cool. I want to figure this out, and that was just said out loud. So, uh, twenty-three insight. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Let me roll. Uh, oh no, sorry, twenty-four. Is... Twenty-four insight. Okay, give, give me one second while I roll something. Okay, okay. Um, you look at her, and you're like, I mean, faces. Something's, something's off. Something for some reason, like. She doesn't look any different, but something feels off about her. And you're only just realizing it. Um, would you say... So, I, I, I Rev, looking over, like, down, I realize something's wrong. I tap Sasha's soldier uh shoulder not soldier shoulder and i kind of whisper to rivella and i go just hang on i'll be right back and i slide down the cat and i i walk towards faza who is standing there just like her hands are up like this she's she's terrified of what's happening right now and i i reach my hands forward and i just gently if she'll let me um wrap my hands around hers. I didn't do anything. I don't know what I'm still me. I don't know what's happening. Please don't please. DM. Yes. How does the air feel around is Faza's body? The air feel. You're looking for a temperature. I, I'm looking it, I, I, as I permeate the space as i come up near her like what what do i feel from like her her aura like from the what's emanating off of her um because because before there was kind of there was kind of nothing she was kind of like a shell it felt like empty she was always sort of like there but not there so as i come up and i I, and i hold this space i'm wondering what i feel you're right Give me your insight with advantage. Another insight with advantage? Okay. No, you know what? You're right. You had that. You just rolled that. It's good enough. Uh, We'll give you... The air begins to feel chilly. Almost like a crisp autumn morning. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, I didn't do anything. I swear I didn't. I I haven't done anything. I I look... As I hold her hands, I go... It's okay. I, I'm not mad at you. Why am I in trouble? You're not. Or rather, you're not with me. Oh, but you yeah. trust me, right? She nods. Then hold my hand for a little while. She is holding on to you like you are like the only thing keeping her from running 
And I lift one hand and I reach out and I just like gently hold her face. And I say, Atma. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. We're going to make a roll. Uh, okay. And I'll. Okay. 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 You get. Phases normally orange eyes. Flicker red for just a moment. So still holding under her face. I go. It's okay. I don't know why you're here this way. But make yourself known. We're family, after all. You don't get much more than that. And it's not because you don't think that she wouldn't say anything because you've met Atma and she's a loudmouth bitch. Yes. You get the idea that she can't right now. And sure. Beloff seems suspiciously quiet almost because you've also met Beloff a million times. And when mm -hmm. does she not have something to say? And as you kind of are working this out, Tamina looks back to Beloff and goes, do we insist on breaking everything? Or are you going to let me help now? Still silence. What happened? What happened to Faza? Go ahead. Do you want to tell them or shall I? I've been trying to help you out here, but what happened to her? Nothing. Nothing bad. I sp she falls silent for a second. They're not going to understand. I don't need to understand. I just need to know that she's okay. She's fine. Doesn't she look fine? She looks fine to me. And finds over my shoulder. Face how are you feeling, darling? Like I'm gonna pee. <laughs> All right. At least we know she's feeling normal. I can't help you if you insist. I'm trying these the frustration that is like leaking out of of Tamina right now is like she is trying so hard not to lose her calm but she's already ripped Beloth from her like she's done more harm than good right now but she's she stops and she's like it doesn't none of you have noticed have you there should be one more of you no. What are you talking? Are you talking about Gilly? She just got here. No, not the child of my child. I was going to ask about that. Wait, child. Of <laughs> That's another conversation. Are you talking about pause? Who else is supposed to be here? The kid, maybe. Uh, Hi, my name wait. is Labella, and I drew this picture. And she's holding up a picture with what? of someone with pink hair. Oh, so the only smart one among us is a child. This works Ooh. wonderfully, doesn't it? It's no. <laughs> there was one more. Remember, she was. She held out my. She, she, she made a mistake, and I didn't get there until too late. And then Atma needed somewhere to hold up an empty body. 
she kind of glances at Faza. I'm confused. You're talking about something happening to to who? It doesn't matter anymore, does it? She never existed as it was now. How does someone exist and not exist? And if they existed and don't exist and then something happened, why are you mad about the person that it happened to? I don't think that was a choice that was made. I'm not mad at her. She was mine and I'm angry at Velos for taking her. You see Velos wrench her arm back and it doesn't even phase Tamina at all. Would you let go of me? I made a choice. You could have come to me for help. What choice did you make? I told you. I needed a body. There happens to be, she looks at Faisa, an empty one right there. Well, it was empty. Now she's more like winter. See, you're telling me that Atma was in someone else. You just happened to cross this person. They died, and you shoved Atma's soul into Phasa without even asking? No. Yes, sort of. There... There are things here that can, that I can't fix, Damascus. I don't do time. I can't rewind things. You know that. Sure. I was too late to help. You're on the way there now. It looks. Um, does this have something to do with Rev's mother? She looks at a Rev for a second. You see her kind of, her eyes glow, this yellow. And a second later, she goes, Yes, apparently it does. So let's kind of call back. But I, I have an item in my bag of holding um, from when we were under that mountain meeting the um, earth spirit, like the mountain dryad, like Terra. Uh, yes, Terra. Um, and we like entered her like crystal garden that she was tending that mm-hmm. kind of kind of reacted to the godly spirits in each of us and allowed me to to view the night sky. Um Can I take out the G Sing crystal from my bag? You can. What would you like to do with it? I just want to hold it up to Faza and see if it reacts. As you do that, you take it out of your bag and you hold it up to Faza. There's a slight red glow that seems to emanate from it. Okay. I'm very uncomfortable in the atmosphere that we've created today. I don't want to be here anymore. I didn't do anything. We all should have gone and taken a nap. I want to go home now. She's just talking. She is so uncomfortable. Faisal. I heard G-string crystal. <laughs> <laughs> it is now forevermore. Whatever, no. same difference. Yes, no. it, it was G-sing, like G E E S I N G G G-sing. This was very very close to G-string crystal. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> um, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, sorry, Visa. 
Since I met you, you have had two or three things that you have held very close to your heart. Okay. What would you say your greatest wish for yourself was? I want my brother back. Beyond that one. I just want my brother back. Okay. So. Wishing to have your brother back in your life. Is still a desire that impacts an, another life beyond yours. That That is a wish that is born from your desire to see your brother again. I asked you what your most important wish was for you. Not, not for your brother, not for Damascus, not for those that you've met, not for Tamina. What is your most important wish for Faza? You look like you have utterly broken her mind right now, where she's sitting there like, I don't, I don't understand the question. And having my brother back is fish bush for Faza, right? Like she's <laughs> you she her brain is just like you turn off. <laughs> oh, so no. Something for therapy. me. <laughs> Something for me? Faza does need therapy. <laughs> so badly she fuck mm -hmm. i don't i don't understand the question mm -mm. uh so people people pleasing is a trauma response i learned that recently <laughs> uh so anyways uh if he sees her spir spiraling he would druid craft um just a, a couple of like feathers and a bit of moss around his hands and just kind of like softly press them into like her, her shoulders and the nape of her neck and try and like provide this sort of like a soft like I don't know like you know how you like squeeze a soft like a teddy bear or like a squish mellow and it like mm -hmm. calms you down a little bit he kind of like turns his hands into like squish mellow <laughs> and like tries to calm her down a little bit he goes hey it's it's okay it's I just, I want you to be the best you you can be for you. And I will always fight for that. Okay, why is this becoming phases therapy night? I don't understand. <laughs> Look, I didn't you... do anything wrong. No, you haven't done anything wrong at all. But you may have been stuck with my smarmy piece of shit alter ego for the last three weeks. But like, hey, don't talk like that about him. He's really nice. I uh, sure maybe he is, but he's also not me. And I I care very deeply about you and our party members. And while he might be busy break, breaking out the fifths of whiskey every fifteen minutes, I just. Not that bad and I do love you and I'm sorry and I don't understand what you're asking me because all I want is for everyone to be happy well, then why can't Faza be happy too Faza will be happy when she gets her brother back okay consider for a second that you might finally be on a path of your own was i doing before this walking on the path in front of you this is okay this is very complicated and i don't i don't know how to explain this to you or to anybody who needs to hear this but sometimes moving forward in life the path that's in front of you is actually the wrong one if you're walking it for the wrong reasons. And it's easy to convince yourself. You can tell yourself and the people around you know, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. Of course, it's right in front of me. I'm following the steps that I've always followed. 
I, I'm doing the right thing, you know, lay off. Like I'm, I'm doing what's easy. Like I'm doing what's in front of me. I, I'm not doing something wrong. It's, it's right there. But every time we do that for ourselves, we're discounting what's actually important, what our true selves want. And so, yeah, I'm not mad at you. And I'm not saying you've done anything wrong, but I'm saying you followed the path in front of you. Not that that may have been Faza's path. Okay. Is that bad? No, actually, I'm the happiest I've been for you since we've met. Oh, that's nice. At least someone is happy right now. That makes me feel better. Uh, <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I, Faisa, I am greatly looking forward to what you are about to experience. The look she has is just like, bitch, we have two angry goddesses on either side of us. What? <laughs> what <laughs> like, you can tell. Yeah, and Bella, they're just like roll. standing just person like, emojis. Yeah. <laughs> this is like one of the most human moments a Rev will ever have. He's surrounded by gods and mm -hmm. all he cares about is his like his friend and this like burgeoning like life he he's b human blinders he doesn't yeah. care right like he, it's like, that's the most human thing he can do he's like i don't fucking care that there are gods i'm looking at this thing right over here like emotional development is happening it's right important. it's very important I'm going to say, while you guys are having this conversation, there has been another conversation that has been going on behind you. And at this point, you probably only turn in, tune into, fine, then it will all burn. And Tamina disappears. I feel like we missed something important. What was that? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to roll me persuasion. Bella, what just happened? You're gonna have to roll me persuasion, Hello. and it's gonna be high. We're we're talking like forties here. You better fucking do well. I, I'm gonna I use know. another party on myself. I'm gonna roll the persuasion, and it's gonna be a fifty. I got a seven on my bardic and a five on my. Dice, I'm gonna be lucky and roll that again. Oh yeah, because you got lucky. There you go. I'm lucky. Okay. Lucky is nice. It is. So that is a total of doing math. 15 plus 7 plus uh 13? 13. So that would be 39. Oh. 35. <laughs> you were close. You were close. Wait, oh wait. man. A rev, a rev, help me out here. <laughs> You're right, actually, it is 30, 39. Uh, so, dude, I, I Rev was pretty, like, down bad with, like, having this emotional conversation with Faiso. Like, were you putting on a show of trying to persuade this? Like, would I have been distracted? That depends on you, Damascus. No, I don't. That is just, I, at the... You and you and Faza are just coming out of having this moment where she's looking at you like, "Bitch, we're gonna die, and you're having this. You're you're doing this now. I don't want anything else, right?" And you're having like that really intense moment. You have Winter, who's beside. Uh, you have Winter, who has actually gone up to the other the goddesses and was having this conversation. And Damascus, you are, I guess, Damascus and Gilly, you are both beside Faza and. Um, mm -hmm. And a rev. And as you're kind of pulling out of it, you hear that. Fine, then it yeah. will burn. Yeah. So I'm turning and being like, wait, what just happened? Uh, share us into the loop, if you don't mind. I think I got a 35. 39. Like, I mean, whatever. I, it, 
Dan, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Roll the d20. Can you roll a d20 for me? Got to. High or low? High or low? Uh, well, because I, I rolled, so I just need to know what you rolled to see whether it beats my insight of whether I noticed you or not. Uh, well, I rolled a two. No, I was too focused <laughs> on Beza then because I had a 24 for my insight, which like I I had rolled to see how focused I was on Faza and whether you had enough charismatic presence to like break my concentration and be kind of like, oh, no, I'm interested in that and therefore guide you. Mm -hmm. All right. But the dice don't want it. I don't want it. What what you do get is she, her head snaps in your direction. And she looks at you for a second and she goes, quiet. And she'll look at Arev. She goes, your mother is up ahead. Hey. My suggestion is to avoid wherever she is. You won't. What you're dealing with up there is something that can make you all forget people ever existed. Something that can wipe every trace of you away. Um, Damascus, I I've mentioned this a few times. Yes. Damascus has been writing a story or like basically what has happened on this journey the entire time right mm -hmm. i want to take that book out and i want to hand it to Belloff, and i want to say give it back to us after it's done but in case we don't remember at least someone will and can remind us sweetheart if you give this to me and there's no one there's no one to give it back to if you don't make it through this you understand that? Make it through. She'll take the look from you and, and then just disappear. And mm. it, the brightness that she that just goes everywhere with her the, that she exudes is gone and it is a dark forest or jungle night again. And you have Ray Bella sitting on a tiger. Hey, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> uh, I'm so her. confused. You're, uh, you're muted. It's, you're muted. Um, come, uh, a lot. Uh, how do we sum this up? <laughs> Alright, so, so Tamitna and Belloth were a couple and then they weren't a couple anymore and I think she went off and made her own daughter which I think was your god? Mother? Mother god? Godmother? I don't know exactly how it works but that's basically what happened and then all the gods banished You know me. what? Let's just go find his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's much of a point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's best. <laughs> Normally, people let me finish when I get out, get going like that. I'll read you a book when we're done with this. Hoping we get it back. Oh, so <laughs> are... Damascus. Keep in mind, we we were told that whatever this is that's ahead of us could make everyone forget. But that's not saying it's, that that's here. Right? Like, we don't... We, we exist on this plane. Who is to say that the influence of whatever monster this is tracks beyond this into Belloth's realm? Like, I, can, it, can it make even Belloth forget about our spirits? Are there souls lost out there between the planes that don't have a home? I, I highly doubt that. Wait. Whatever it is 
she said that it already happened to whoever that was that I have now inside me. Um, wait, or was carrying Atma? Was that the pink head person? That's what I think is happened. But she said Which... whoever this So it's but... already happened. We forgot about someone who was with us this whole time. So we, we had did. someone else. But Tamina but... did not. Well, neither neither did, did Bella. Bella. So if we disappear and you've given your book and the records of what has happened to Beloth, then whoever she ends up giving that book to, that that, that book shouldn't change. Because it's been know the story so far. It would it will know what's happened up until we go to investigate this thing. That was my assuming thinking. she gives that book to anyone. I don't like let it burn. I wonder if the pink haired bird was in the book. We maybe should have checked that. Damn it. Yeah, we should have looked at that before we gave it away, <laughs> Damascus. <laughs> I mean, if it's any consolation, we didn't think that that person was real. Well, I suppose they're not anymore. Yes, no. And Beza looks like you're the new Atma. Come Welcome here, to the club. Congratulations. If she quiet. just got put in there, she might be too weak to speak up the way that Tamina did when she was inside you. Nina was never really inside me, though, remember? Fair. She was attached. I don't know. Ew. I don't often You're hear You're not Bond's my brother. Um, That's just to winter. <laughs> this doesn't change anything just because we're more alike. You're still not my brother. You said it and you can't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Yep, yeah, she did. So that's Arev, them. Arev just starts to spiral because he he starts to realize that if if it's true, this is now the second like goddess that Faza has like started to grow within herself and starts to wonder whether Faza is just the mother of goddesses. And he's just like sitting there like scratching his head, going like, No, 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 no. They were already there. It's it's the chicken and the egg. Which came first, Phaser or the gods? Ooh, <laughs> he's just like he's having a hard time. This is the walking divinity factory. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's, it's, going it's a bit simple, far, guys. Tamina created Phaser, so Phaser could create. Tam she gave birth to her. It is confusing, right? <laughs> you guys suck. You all suck. I vote that we all just stop thinking about it because I don't think we're getting any closer <laughs> to understanding anything. That is, that's I, generally yes. my policy. You, you know, I think I it's like all this. Policy. It's it's the exhaustion catching up with us. <laughs> there you go. That that's well, a way to explain it. Love that we're <laughs> RPing our exhaustion levels. <laughs> right, <laughs> you're starting to RP your exhaustion levels. Fantastic. <laughs> Rest? Uh, yeah, we'll up probably need something it. like that. Yeah. Do we know what is something like that? No. <laughs> Couple history check. Have you ever heard of something like that? Mm -hmm. You're going to get a Go 40 ahead. on a history check, too? <laughs> uh, no, I have a plus three. I assume it's going to be something related four. to the. I mean, it's a seven. You can't really tell. Um, but as you guys continue, because unless you're stopping right here, you were going through the night, right? Um, bad to keep going. We we were gonna get closer for sure, but like now that the gods have intervened and Faza has gone, like maybe we should get some rest. Like. 
a revs kind of listening to that council i rolled a pretty high when i asked whether myself whether i was going to listen to that or not we can we can try and get closer and then if we need to like put up the condo then i don't want to not find your mom or rev well i i want to rescue my mother and every second that we're not doing that feels like torture. But at the same time, I if we're exhausted when we encounter whatever this creature is, we, we we've been given a we've been given a chance by being armed with the knowledge that something is waiting for us. And if I ignore that, if I show up to a fight exhausted, then I, I'm i not choosing to save my mother. I'm choosing to die. What if... And... She looks at... Faisal will look at Damascus and go, you're, you're sort of charming. You kind of work on her. What if you go and see if you can get more information about where his mother could be? From Bella? Yeah, I don't know. Bat your pretty eyelashes or something. I look at the group. I'm willing to try. We can we can try and find her before we go, maybe. I don't know. She did seem to know a lot about where we're going. I look at Winter. You wanna take me for a ride? Why do you keep dragging me into these things? It's just, I always end up getting yelled at. I can try calling her down, but it seems less likely for her to listen that way. This is going to be the worst. Like, she just got ripped out of her own freaking domain. Fuck. Fine. You're going to be here when we get back, though, right? Yeah. This is to the guys. This is to you guys. To everybody. Of course I'm we're going to be here. Yeah. Uh, you know, why don't we... Okay, so the condo is like part of Beloth's domain, right? Yeah. I think it's like so half a step there. So why don't we just agree that rest is going to help us go into the condo, start resting while you two do whatever it is you need to do, and then hopefully you can come back and join us and also benefit from the rest after already being halfway to Bella. Makes sense to me. That's fine. Yep, let's do that. Let's 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 take a rest. Um right. who has the wand? Wisdom is do. not my dump stat. It is not your dump stat. That is I actually do. really smart. I pull out the the wand and I Can you cast condo? Make a magic condo. Oh, I haven't been in the condo account. before, have I? No, you no. have not been. Well, you've been in like apartments and stuff, but you, this is a different uh, this one. experience for you. This, Whoa! <laughs> it's bigger <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> this uh, sparkle, like it kind of erupts in like a flare of light around you and then shimmers. And, and as you come to, there is just this very comfortable looking living space around you. There to one side, there is a kitchen. Uh, that looks to be fully stocked. Um, to the other side, there is a sitting room with uh, books and a whole bunch of just comfortable chairs and couches. Um, as you kind of look around, you notice that there's like a bit of a hallway that goes down and there are doors that seem to, if without even trying, you would be able to match up who they end up, <laughs> who they are for each one to each one. And, um, you actually see one that looks to you like it's made out of um, maybe the deck of a ship. Do I have a room? You might. Delightful. If you go look. Oh, I'm absolutely going to look. Lily's going to run up like it's she's a kid on vacation checking out the hotel room. You run up to it. You, you know, uh, twist the handle. And as you open 
the door and step in, a burst of sea air just fills your nostrils. <laughs> and you open into, you walk into this room that is not really a room. It seems to stretch on as far as you can see. There is a beach. There are a couple of comfortable chairs on sand. Uh, between two trees is a hammock that is swaying back and forth in the breeze. Um, and just walking just in front of you is a, a beach that leads into water. I want to go to there. This is awesome. <laughs> and poke my head out. Guys, do you have beaches too? This is the shit. <laughs> I got a beach. I got a nice fancy little room, but Oh, it's like a big tavern in. room for him. You have a beach? I think I win, frankly. Well, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Come over here. And like, I, I, I like wave Carol down the hall towards my door. I want to see everybody's rooms now. Just through here. And I like open my door. And th the first thing that you see when you go through my door is, uh, like, short, grown grass. Like, not not cut, but, like, grown short that just spreads out into this beautiful, like, almost dusk, like, at the very verge of twilight's, um, like, glow. Uh, as like most of the night sky is above you, but like there's still a, just a touch of sunset left left in the distance, of this beautiful like vast forest clearing, and you see a like a four poster bed with uh, these beautiful like swirling shawls and the breeze that are hanging off the posters, and it's it's a uh, a beautiful queen size bed, just in this clearing of a forest with these evergreens just sprawling out beyond the thing. And as a rev like allows you to venture into this room, you just hear the hooting and hollers of owls and nightlife and uh, creatures going everywhere. And he follows behind you and he goes, look up. A rev, give I... me a perception check. Sure. As you look up. Uh, that's a nat 18. My perception is plus five, so 23. So, explain to her what you see, and then I'll, I'll, I'll say what's, what's changed. So, uh, as I gesture for you to look up, something that has not existed <laughs> in Iwin is the starry yes. night sky. But above you in my room, uh, from the moment I joined the party... The night sky has been visible as long as you've been in my room. So you look up and you see this night sky full of stars with uh, a, a few constellations that are like clearly visible. And I point out and I, re I point over to one. I go, uh, that's the archer right over there. And I gesture to like where I have like the tattoo of the, an arrow symbol behind like my eye. I'm like over there is the dragon. Uh, over there is the chalice and he's just kind of like pointing through like the the constellations of and the different parts that he he has tattooed on his body but then what do i see jess so for caro this is something you've never seen before not even at sea right like there's never been stars like this but as you're looking around with your role you notice just just for a second every the stars seem to move and you know, you knew you found Belarus. You knew what that was. And then then, you know, you remember when the frozen dwarf appeared in the sky in your stars, which you made. You put his you put Edgar's soul or the the image of Edgar up into the sky so that he could be remembered. Just just slightly past that blinking is it takes you a second and you kind of shake your head. And then there, there it is. Yeah, that's that's always been there. And it's uh, Temporastria, the Time Witch. I can tell you about the constellation if you like, or we can continue past that. 
well, I I, I kind of like look up and I go and uh, and that's the frozen dwarf, uh, and that's the that's not that new. No, that's yeah, no, that's that's always been there. That's uh, it's Temporastria. Uh, it's <sighs> there's something I want to say about that. Uh, and he sits there and he, he is like looking at it and thinking about it and goes well do you see the the way the, the stars link up it, it there's actually there's two parts to it there's it, there's this part where it it very much resembles a, a female elf but there's actually this part up here that um represents a, a fairy dragon uh it's the whole constellation it's very powerful it's supposed to represent power and the magic of time itself um there you can see the constellation it almost looks like she's holding uh, a large hourglass in one hand uh, while that the, the, that fairy dragon is protecting her other arm and it's the whole thing just just shimmers it's got it's so much color to it it's it's so beautiful it i've i've never been able to never been able to get over like the the, the pure detail of it it's it's honestly i i it's fantastic and really? anyways yeah right hmm. i mean how it is mate i've never seen anything like it i just every time i've looked at it i i keep wondering to myself just how how much i wish we had that kind of power on our side like how how could you not you know like you think about this absolute control over time and space and balance and the universe and just just the camaraderie between that and like a, like a fairy dragon and being able to control the flow of time like what could, how much more could we have done to help the world with that on our side and i anyways it's from your shoulder who's he, he's fluttered in as you're talking he goes i do you obsessed with me not that you understand what <laughs> talon is saying to you because he refuses to speak common oh shut up talon shut up not now he said something nice right yeah it's nicer I... than he normally is i think damascus actually i'm gonna roll the dice for it Oh yeah. Um staring up at the sky and listening to a rev's amazing description is just taken aback. But also this image kind of reminds him of something. And it's not a person, it's not anything he can even put his finger on. But he will uh, use silent image to just kind of in the distance almost overlaying the stars but a little bit see-through project the image of a pink tiefling's drawing of a witch with pink hair that feels right to you Huh. I think maybe we found I'm missing someone. Eberastria? I don't well, know. Whoever was with us, maybe they, in the same way that Edgar got put up there, yeah, but we did that. We put Edgar up there. Maybe we did this too and we just don't remember it. I mean, I just just because I can do something, you know, I'm 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 not unique. <laughs> I 
I, I'm sure there are other people that have existed that can do the thing kinds of things that I can do. It, maybe there's someone else out there who has my inclination, my ability, my knowledge, and help me an insight on yourself, bitch. Okay. <laughs> uh that is a 21 as you're saying this you know that there have other, been other people that have had this similar sort of star magic but what you're saying right now doesn't ring true I think <laughs> I don't know Honestly, maybe maybe I did do something and I just don't remember. I, I mean, I, I spent three weeks as apparently alive without actually being here. Uh, and I'm still reeling with what that actually means for myself. So uh, take the things I say with a grain of salt. I can't tell you what I've been eating for the last two weeks, but hey, I feel. Don't worry, little... I've been feeding you very well. I appreciate it. Feed me a little bit less well, he says, <laughs> as he like tugs at his as his stomach. He's like, or uh, at least tell Ooh. Varian to run a few laps. Uh... if you give, use... give me insight, give me insight real quick. Me again? You, yeah. <laughs> okay. You. Uh, it's st- Stella twenty one. Okay, you catch you catch it, but she tries to brush it off as she kind of just turns away to do other things. But you, she didn't. Faza did not like when you said feed me a little less. Oh, feed me a little less. She. She grew up having to scrounge for food, maybe having not getting not getting fed when it was a punishment. NPC will remember this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Faisal will remember this. It's, it's, it's a throwback. Mm-hmm. It's a throwback comment. Oh no. I think it's okay. She likes Varian more anyways. <laughs> yeah, she does. Nothing's changed. Nope. Oh, <laughs> you don't know that. I was a placeholder. Just call me a paperweight. If you used to have another member of your party, w- wouldn't they still have a room here? Do you think they would maybe help? Maybe. Was there an extra door? I poke my head out, look for an extra door. Is there any evidence we could find? <laughs> you don't see an extra door. I don't updated too quickly. <laughs> Faisa opens her room, Catch notes. puts her head in. She goes, No, that's still my room. Seems normal. Mm-hmm. I'll go do the same for mine. Same. It's your room. Your shitty bar tavern room that's just a little it bit is nicer because nice that's what you bar are. Tavern <laughs> room. Thank you. And there is the subtle sound of people having a good time echoing from below as white noise and a bard playing some music just softly echoing and if you listen really really closely it's definitely damascus's own voice <laughs> oh my god that's so blur- that's so much worse phase's room by the way is just a walk-in closet it's a really nice walk-in closet <laughs> okay it's got a mattress and like hanging curtains and a comforter and that's just like what it's basically you're getting this is what you wanted the most as like mm-hmm. a kid or as like yeah like your mm-hmm. your favorite room. Damascus and Faza, do you want to come for a swim at my dicks? Maybe. I'd I think there's to. pina coladas in there. Oh, that's real tempting. There's what? <laughs> I'll come. Damascus, uh, uh, you have stuff to do. We got we got to head off. I look at uh, winter. Well, my no, room is still Winter's room. If anyone wanted, my my room is still Edgar's room. If everyone, if anyone wanted to know, just so you're aware. That's nobody fine. asked. I oh, Winter, no. I I have been in your room. Yeah, mm-hmm. but everybody's so showing that. up. So 
I, it's, I, it's I'm a valuable it. part of this team. Uh, can, can I go up to Winter? And much like I, I cupped Faza's face earlier, can I cup Winter's face? Although he's a little, he'll, he's a, he'll he'll lean into it. He's a little taller than me, so I actually like I'm I cup I'm like looking up at him, and I is just go. Where, is this where we kiss? <laughs> I look at him and I go. Not yet. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, yes. oh. all right. Tease me more. And he says, you're the hardest person on yourself in this group. Everybody here values you and knows that you have a place. I don't. So, I just met you. <laughs> you sing nicely. Thank you. Uh, you seem nice <laughs> as well. I... A rev looks over his shoulder at the two girls, <laughs> and it's just like like a withering look. <laughs> You're not Thank helping. You. And he looks I never back liked over. Him in the beginning, I don't know what looks, you want from me. He looks back over at Winter, and he goes, <laughs> "If you ever doubt your place, just come find me, and I will remind you." Now, all oh, right, all right, all right. Stop looking at me with those eyes. It's fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Come on, Damascus. All right, let's head off. Um, before I go, I want to kind of like g- give me a second. I want to pull Faza aside. Yes, hi. I just didn't get a chance to say it and want to in case everything goes wrong and none of us can remember who we are. <sighs> I don't know what Belloth did to you exactly, putting Atma's soul in you or whatever, but hearing her and Tamina argue over who you belong to, just, you ain't Tamina's, you ain't Belloth's, you ain't Atma's, hell, you ain't even mine. You belong to yourself and you decide what you do with that all right and who you want to give that to and what you want to do with it that's up to you don't let nobody take that from you i know i know i know all right just making sure i am your god's my just a little of course as long as you want to be okay i'll give her a kiss and then go she'll give you a kiss back (laughs) okay Bye. <laughs> and then I'll go meet up with Winter and be like, all right, fly me to heaven. <laughs> he literally just pushes you back backwards and you go, <laughs> you step through like a portal that appears behind you. And you are on the other side. I was hoping you'd cradle me in your arms and fly me through the sky, but I suppose this will do it. <laughs> Listen, don't flirt with me, Damascus. You kiss my sister. <laughs> Uh, You're staying. Well, <laughs> what? Oh, well, the rest well, of us are going to the beach. <laughs> beach day, yeah. The, before we take care of that, you guys head day. into uh, you, Gilly's room. Go Heck swimming. Yeah. Oh, I'd have uh, to like teach everybody to swim. Nobody would know how to swim. No, no, they can swim. No. They can swim. Oh, okay. Fun, there are lakes and stuff. Fun fact, because you just met me, so you don't know about this yet. <laughs> But as I come into the room, uh, is, are, are there any sea creatures uh, that you see? All right. Um, I've got a friend that's an octopus, and I assume there's lots of fish and maybe a, maybe a dolphin. Perhaps a dolphin. So as I run into your room, I go, <laughs> I look around. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Wait, that one looks like it's having fun. And I like run towards the ocean. I'm like. Sorry, Carol. Uh, not Carol. Uh, Gilly. <laughs> sorry, Gilly. Uh, watch this, and like I like run forward, and my Doberman like bounds out of the spectral realm because <laughs> I have a ghost puppy, <laughs> and like as it comes bounding around, it jumps up, and I'm and I just go Dodger high five, and I like high five my puppy's paw, but as I do so, my body just transforms 
in the air into a dolphin's form and I flip into the ocean and the my dog just lands and starts doggy paddling after me. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, druids! I fucking love druids! <laughs> Bounding in through the door is a white tiger that is going straight for the water. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a tiger. All you right. have... You Such have a little me. pink tiefling making sandcastles in your room. Oh my gosh, so cute. Yes. Best day ever. Uh, <laughs> it, is a, it is a great <laughs> time. Uh, Damascus. You're, you are muted. Damascus is kicking little bits of cloud as he walks. Probably ain't even that fun with beach. One. <laughs> Big deal, it's just some sand and water. Whatever it is, it's so better than bitter. being here. <laughs> And as you look around, the Asmar are out in force. Every single one of them seems to be uh, armored and with weapons. And Well, that's a great first sign. Well, if we die, uh, thanks for the help. And I head straight, like directly, without even stopping to look you just at any run? of them. Towards uh, no, nope, just walk confidently towards the uh, her big palace. towards the palace. Yeah. Okay, as you <laughs> fucking go to the palace again, um, it's not unguarded. Now there is. Uh, you remember last time you heard you met Miss uh, Mit Lyle, and uh, I think her name was. I can't remember right now, but it's the one you fought in the arena. Mm-hmm. Just thought, chilling by the door. Those two again? Yeah. No, no, it was just her before. Now he, Lyle has also joined her. I walk up to them, big confident smile on my face, and go, Evening. Hard at work, I see. Seems like Blaze is up in arms about something. Uh, Pleasure to see y'all again. Appreciate it if you just scooch a little out of the way. Gotta have some words with the, the boss lady. There's a beat where Mitt Lyle looks at you. Just face just face to face eye contact. You're, it's, it's heavy. It's intense. And then he looks over at, at Winter and he goes, why do you keep doing this? Because he knows it's important and necessary. It's fine. It's all right. Don't worry. You won't get in trouble. Just to scooch out of the way a little bit. If you don't mind. Do you do you touch him? I I totally put it like tap him on the arm. All right. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, my armor is twenty one. Yeah. Please let me. Okay. Um. As you grab him, you find yourself being shoved backwards quite forcefully as uh he didn't hit you though he did go to but um azria i think her name is did she intercepted you all right i know you and i and i think this directly to her have had some issues we i may have beaten you up a little in an arena it's Nothing to be worried about. But regardless of our history, it's real important that I get in there and talk, chat with uh, the boss lady. So are we really going to argue about this? Do you want to try and persuade them? Because right now, neither of them look like they're even going to budge. I'll try and persuade them, and if that doesn't work, I'll do plan B. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's... I don't even want to know what plan B is. <laughs> God damn it. I have a 24. It's not enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both of them just kind of scoff at you. Uh, and I'm going to roll to see something. Oh, fuck, not 20. Yes, yes, Winter. Be the god you were born to be. <laughs> okay. And as, you know, they kind of like 
closed ranks and it looks like they're getting ready to uh probably hit you again Vitor's forge hang- hammer comes out and swings and stops right in front of you and a flare of white light with that's just encompassed with um frigid air from behind you just blows past you and if you turn and look you see that uh wings stretched out icicles kind of climbing up his legs and beginning to form frost over his uh his armor winter is gone full god but for the first time ever and you hear move aside and it radiates with power and for a second what he said for a second they kind of like shit but Mitlyle will step aside and open the door for you go through and as we do I turn to winter it's a real good thing you did that because plan B was going to be oof, it's going to be a good one and There's then once we're inside silence and then goes, what was plan B I didn't have a plan B I was going to make something up yeah I figured and it the ice begins to kind of just melt away. Plan B was to ask you if I could upcast banishment at a level that I don't have so I could target both of them. That was plan B. Sure, with levels of exhaustion. Yeah, I would have taken it. Uh, you head to Belloths? I head to Belloths. Head directly to... I'm assuming she's either in her bedroom or the TV chamber, which were, if I recall correctly, very close to one another. They're not, but because I don't okay. want to narrate you walking down endless co- corridors of a, a non-existent uh, palace, they they seem like they are. Um, which do you check first? Um, I'm going to check. I'm going to check the tea, the the globe room. Globe room. Okay, so you're going to the, the orb of souls. Yes. As you twist through this uh mansion this palace of hers uh every couple feet there is somebody inside like it's normally almost empty all the time but now it's being ramped up with security not that it seems to have done anything Mm -hmm. the doors to that room are closed i know Can you give me a dexterity saving throw? Uh, very high. 25. You duck just in time as a bolt of just a beam of energy comes crashing through that door. That Why are open. you here? <laughs> I open the door. Actually, I will just pop through the hole if I can. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a an acrobatics check. 21. 21. You hop through the hole. Whoop. I'll wait out. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait out here. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna wait oh, out here. Idea. Yeah. Why did he this say anything? Like he could have just problem. pretended it was uh, Hey Bella. Was hoping we could have a quick chat. I imagine it's probably not the best time, but we ain't exactly got the luxury of waiting, given everything that's been going on. The form that she normally takes of of a uh, an Eladrin, which was the form that you decided was the cutest, mm-hmm. she's not in that form anymore. She is in that. The form of just she's more or less just white light in that that blue dress with the giant headpiece of um of gold that one that you saw that you were like that's terrifying Mm -hmm. as she storms around her room i'm getting very tired of people entering my domain without my say so if you prefer call first i'd be happy to if you 
give me a means to do so. I just thought we needed to have a chat about everything that was going on. And we were hoping we you'd be willing to help us out a bit. You thought, you thought that we needed to have a chat. You. I thought. The audacity. You might need to. I need, I might need to. Given what was happened, what has happened, and the loss of one of the champions that was supposed to be fighting on our side. Okay, give me another direct save. Uh, I'm rolling these really good. 22. You duck behind the orb and it reflects this very half-hearted but would have been deadly had it Mm -hmm. hit you blast of light. I... I don't know if there's like a chair in here or something, but it doesn't matter. I sit. Yeah, there. Like right on the floor. Okay. I sit. I grab a chair. I just sit. And I look at her and I go, if you wanted to kill me, you could kill me. If you wanted to banish me out of here and send me back to island, you could do it in the snap of a finger. I don't doubt that. And I know you, I know you know it just as well as I do. You could end me right here if you wanted to. That ain't why I'm here. I'm here because I know some fucked up shit happened. And I know dealing with fucked up shit's easier if you got people you're dealing it with it. Dealing with it with. Ugly turn of phrase. And now you got your your angels, your your asthma here. They I'm sure help. But they ain't going through the same thing that we are. To me, Please it's... explain to me what you think you're going through. As there's like a, two strides before she's in front of you and she has the front of your shirt. You're being lifted into the air. Giant eyeballs staring down at us. Things that shouldn't have even existed. That none of us knew existed. Planning on showing up and wrecking This little thing we call a world? Whose fault? Tell me, whose fault was the giant eyeball? Take a moment. Real thing. Really think about it. I think about it and I go, it was, I don't know. Not there, is it? it? No, it's not there. I assume it's a missing friend. That's what would that's why I'm here. I want to make sure that we can get Rev's mom back without any of the rest of us going missing. And there it is, isn't it? You're not here to comfort me, Damascus. You're here for information. I can do two like things. you always are. And she'll drop you. You can make a deck save to see if you land or if you fall flat on your ass. I let her drop me. Land straight on your ass? Okay. Yeah. I go... I'm here to comfort you. But I also need help. And... Whether or not you're willing to give it, that's your choice. I'm still here to help you. I've been trying to help you. Lying to me, Damascus. Right. Real quick. Uh, Oh, no, I didn't take it. Damn it. Uh, I yell outside. Winter, do me a favor. I'm not here. Yes, you are. Cast down the truth on me. I don't need to do that. At all? Are you stupid? <laughs> that the laugh anyway. from outside. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Zone of truth. You let it work. Or are you going to try? I let and it save? work. I let it work. 
I go, yeah. My friends asked me if I could come chat with you and find out what we were walking into. Hmm. That don't mean I wasn't trying to help you today in that clearing. I wasn't trying to calm shit down between you and Tamina. Not for our sake, but for yours. Whatever else is going on, you are important to this I world know, and to I'm me. Important. I am this world. I made this world, Damascus. I know you did. You try my patience, mortal. I am mortal. And I feel all manner of mortal emotions. Oh, this is... God damn it, Damascus. We're gonna try this. Oh, for I would like. Sake. I would like to roll after this, if that's cool okay. with you. But I say... All right. I do feel all sorts of mortal emotions, including fear. Including feeling powerless. And... I imagine that ain't something you feel very often. And it sucks to feel. And what are you rolling for? I, I, I would like to persuade her not to kill me at saying that. Oh, this is going to be opposed. Okay. All right. Roll. Roll your persuasion. And I'm going to uh, roll I, I, to see. I'm not telling you what. I'm giving myself another one of myself, Bardock's. I really like that I can do this now. Yes, the good old pat on the back. Oh, it's not high enough. I'm going to use another lucky. One more. Got a 13 this time. Okay. That's a 17. 17 plus 6 plus 13. Oh, that right. Hang on. 17 plus 13 plus 6. 36. 36. 36. To not die. To, to have her listen to what I'm saying and not die. Yeah, that would be great. You are lucky. She really fucking loves you. She rolled a nat one. Thank you. She pauses. Walking in here. here Before I ask you for help, I want to make sure you're all right. Because walking into a place like this with the military presence you got here, this ain't the kind of place someone who's all right sets up. I'm not entirely sure what you expect me to answer, darling. Fair enough. You don't gotta talk to me if you don't want to. Do I look all right to you? I mean, on a superficial level, but I think... hmm? Flatterer. It works, don't it? I think you're freaked out just like anyone would be in your shoes. God or mortal. And that's all right. Getting freaked out at shit that ain't supposed to. That was a really good roll. She rolled on that one. She walks in close to you. She goes, I haven't felt this fear it looks like she really choking on this that word since we banished Tamina I know that fear is what she <laughs> what some of us have been living with since this whole thing started and I'm sorry that you had to feel it too that is what I mean when I say we're all in this together We're all feeling that fear, that helplessness. But we're still doing what we can to overcome it. Just like I know you're going to. 
because fear or not, you're a tough old bitch and you know it. You just call me old? How dare you? And she's she's a, she's a lot closer to you now. Come you're gonna be all right. Damascus. Hmm. Sorry, I missed Come that. Come home to me, Damascus. I ain't here for that. Not this time. Just know you ain't going through the sun, yo. And if you do need to talk to somebody who ain't got fancy wings and swords of light, I mean, well. I am a much better choice. Winter, just get the fuck in here. <laughs> and he'll walk in the door. Hi. Uh, this is, yeah. Let us know, is all I'm saying. You got people who care about you. Not as a god, but as a person. Oh, fuck off, Damascus, and tell me what you want. Do you know where Rev's mother is? Do you know what it is we're walking into? I do. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. If I tell you what it is, you're not going to remember it. You won't remember it even if you see it. All right. But I can show you where she is. Show us that. And we'll deal with whatever it is when we get there. Even if we don't remember doing it. She waves a hand and the orb of souls begins to make begins to swirl and an image takes place. And you recognize the jungle where you were, where you set up the the um the condo. And it's almost like it's you're walking this way. She's it's moving as like it's moving through the trees and showing you that if you continue on that path, you'll come to a very beaten down looking town. And it'll you'll zoom through that town and you'll find a well. And you'll want to go down that well. You'll need to you'll need to um break it open because it's boarded up right now. And when you go down that well, there is a series of, there's like a an underground cave and you'll go down this cave and through this, follow it to the end. And at the very end of the cave is a wall of thick branches and um, leaves and almost like vines could be like ivy and behind that wall in the smallest space possible is Ella, which is uh, not James, Arev's mother, the one that you heard on the phone when your dad called. She looks bloodied, like she's been in a fight. She is still alive, so she's not pleading out or anything like that, but she's clearly managed to hold herself off here. And on the wall are marks that look like maybe she's been marking into the wall. Maybe how long she's been there. Sightings of something. You're not sure. Um... Do I also see someone who might be, uh, shoot, what's her name? Uh, our, our adorable pink teeth and friend's dad. No, she's just shown you right to where okay. uh, mom is. That's a good Rabella. Rabella, thank you. Um, all right. It looks like she's at least safe for the moment. Might be able to finish resting. 
so we face whatever this thing is at full power. Is a, a tiefling friend, the little one, her father there as well? You know, for someone who's just not even my fiance anymore, you ask a lot of things. I you ask a silent, lot of help. With... I silent image the face of this adorable tiefling. And I go, come on. Do, do you I blame me for not wanting to help this one? Mascus, I know the child. Okay. You see her eyes kind of glimmer. And she puts a hand on the orb and the orb pulls back out of that well. And into what looks like a broken down sort of house in that area. And you see Roy. He's asleep right now, but he's there. I put a hand on our cheek and just go, thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean it. And I mean it. If you need to talk, let me know. I'll keep that thank you. Should I? I don't regret giving it. Go on now. I trust you, Bella. You know that. She doesn't answer you. She just you she stares down at you. Hmm. All right. I turn to Winter and I go, best let everyone know what's going on. Yep, come here. And he'll put an arm around you and you'll just take go me. in. <laughs> oh, <he's... laughs> he'll sweep you up, put an arm under your knee. You'll get, he'll carry you like bridal style and just be like, <laughs> I really do try not to bring him here all the time. And then take a turn and you guys are back in the condo. So All right. let me let you down here or if you want to carry me to the beach, you can. I gotta say it, it's it actually feels remarkably safe up here. He does. He'll walk <laughs> you to the door. He'll walk you to the door, but you've been there a while. So mm -hmm. at what point does everyone go to sleep? Uh you are on mute, my dear. I Everybody, I promise you, I'm not. <laughs> uh, sorry, like not you now. Were. Yes, no, I know. I, I, I'm like, I promise, I'm not now. Um, I think Arev might have actually been asleep before Damascus came home. Arev's gone to bed. Uh, you're, you know what? As you're going to uh, Caro's room, Caro's room. It's not Caro. It's Caro. Gilly's room. <laughs> As you're going to Gilly's room, uh, you'll see that Faisa left her door open just a little bit so that you can see that she's asleep in there. She's so I cute. pat Winter on the shoulder and go, all right, I think we missed beach day. There will be other you. beach days. <laughs> okay, go. Yes, we head off to bed. Get some rest and... Uh... Thank you. I hope you don't get in too much trouble for it. Blame it on me. I tricked you. I always do. I, I literally always blame it on you. <laughs> Everyone always does. Yeah, you make it real easy. <laughs> Go on. I will. Go to sleep. I will spitchy into Faze's tiny room. She left the door open for you, so mm -hmm. you go in. You can get in bed cuddle in up. her little twin bed. <laughs> cuddle up nice and tight. And cuddle up. 
she she'll roll over and be like, "Oh hi, I miss you." Um. Uh, or rather's asleep. Are you doing anything before you go to bed, Gilly? I think Gilly's probably pretty tired. I think Gilly's just gonna post up in that hammock and zonk out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm where are we bunking? Go. Where are we bunking the tiny child? She should not the be by the water. Child. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny child. Ooh. Uh, she's With in Faisa Damascus. put her in Damascus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's in Damascus's room because she liked that there were, it wasn't quiet. Oh, perfect. There, it sounded like there were people there. A rev. Yes. As you lay down to sleep, you drift off into a darkness. Hmm. And you hear coming out of the darkness. I said I would check. Oh, Enough. no. What do you do as you materialize, as a body materializes uh, in your own mind? Am I aware that it's my mind and not, like, really happening? You are aware that something is happening. Like, I, in your mind is a stretch. You're you're not really there right now. You've been transported somewhere else. Okay. Because uh, I was going to be like, a, you know, pinch my cheeks, et cetera, to try and, like, uh, determine whether it's real or not. But I think Arev, like, ha- escaping that would probably just... Avoid direct eye contact, but kind of go. Why am I here? Our first meeting and you don't even want to look at me. I'm hurt. That's never happened before. He brings his eyes up. And looks purple skin, gold makeup, chiseled, chiseled features, gold glasses, purple horns, the most beautiful purple tiefling you have ever seen. You know, who uh, that is. oh, um. Yes, um, I suppose this is our first meeting. I hello, I <laughs> normally I'm always so articulate, little mortal. I, I he Arev looks up and he he gets lost on the like, like the angles of the face again and kind of like looks up past the glasses and it, it into the eyes he he just can't quite keep looking like every time he has to look away and he he's got a very like he's got a thin purple tail uh that seems like flick into your field of vision when you do that just to make sure that you're not ever comfortable I'll say uh normally I would stand on ceremony I just am not familiar with what that looks like for you give it your best guess he's clearly toying with you and enjoying you being uncomfortable. By the way, uh, Carol, this is the cunning, and it, it, he's a demon from, well, more or less the demon dimension, the pain dimension. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I may or, may or may not owe him a couple of favors. Just a couple. <laughs> Just a couple. It's Just not couple like small I gave him, favors. It's not like I gave him my blood or anything. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Um, it's for the drama. It's for the plot. Um, uh, 
eventually a rev like after trying to avoid the eye contact and like looking around looks at the kind like, of uncomfortably close to you by the way like you guys are nose to nose by this point oh oh he feels like the, the heat of the cunning's breath effectively like on his lips as he talks and he can't quite look up and he, but he goes yes i i do know who you are and i i suppose you've come to collect the debt that you're owed I think I could wait. I quite enjoy this. If I had known, you would be so delectable. Maybe I'd have come sooner. Well, I have always been who and what I am. It's you that didn't show up, not me. Did this hurt you? How could it have hurt me? We had never met. I had no feelings to be hurt one way or the other. Not from what I hear. What I hear, you have abundance of feelings. So many. He likes you, you know. And with a snap of his fingers, it's almost like you are in a... Do you remember the first time you saw him? He was in a very ornate, very luxurious room. And there, right, there are big, comfortable um, armchairs and a roaring fire. Yes, of course. And there are two. For you, one for you, one for him, and he'll sit in one of them. I sit in the other, and I look back at him, and I say, "Do you mean? Sorry, do you mean Renanel? Who who else would I be speaking of?" Considering the nature of the dimension that you come from, I wouldn't have been shocked if you attempted to play a game with me. Who says I'm not? Who says you're not? Do you think it's easy to contact this realm? Um... I thought that it was so easy that it was basically taboo amongst your kind. I thought that it was considered cheating to so easily acquire a mortal soul. Oh, oh, oh okay, hang on, hang on. You almost seem to get under his skin just a little bit as he gets up and strides over to your chair and sits on the edge of it. He goes, you wound me. You think me so powerless. No, I don't think of you as powerless. I think of you as so powerful that you ignore the common conventions of those of your kind in favor of your own betterment. Uh, he seems to... There's, there's a smirk. There's a bit of a smirk. And he, he will uh, lean down and he goes... Swipes his hand as like a gesture of to look and see. And everything sort of seems to change and in front of you you kind of get like almost like you know how uh 
we have earth and then you have like the moon that goes around the earth and that has like it's like elliptical path right you can't, mm -hmm. you start seeing a whole bunch of these out in like space almost and he goes these are pathways to each different dimension none of us are collect are connected for me to be here requires work hmm. but if i am not mistaken you are known as the cunning i am so this work as much as you complain about it is still beneath you Not this time. You've come for a reason, Cunning. Now I have reasons to be elsewhere, and I don't know whether the time that you're using is mine or yours, but... Time is inconsequential. Perhaps. Do you think that you could still speak plainly with me? I find you very attractive. <laughs> he... I like it when you blush like this. <laughs> Our F blushes and, and, and looks up. And kind of stares into the eyes of Kanagan. Kind of, and he reaches up and takes the glasses off of the Cunning's kind of face. Hold. Is it, though? Because... From the very first moment, it was you that came to find me. Are you asking what I want from you? I think I know what you want from me. Do you? Tell me. Well, there is something that I can offer you that others cannot. What's there that? is I am a I am me. And I am me. But you're not really you, are you? There are multiple yous, all stuffed in one container. Are you you? Picks and prods. He sort of like shivers a little bit. And then he looks back and says... I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. I come to you because you have a wound that never closes as he taps your chest. A bleeding heart. You'll help anyone. And I so happen to need that help right now. You've met him, Rananel. I have. More than once. Um, 
I know I designed that by reason. I need him to be attached so that when it's time for him to come here, back with you, he'll want to. Renan now is what? Renanel can no longer stay here. In your dimension? Yes. But this is his dimension. Yes, and it is no longer safe for him, so he will return to you, to yours with you. That is our deal. But that's I I must be reading this situation wrong. I forgive me, but you are you are a demon or a fiend. I am. And Renanel also in turn is a demon or a fiend. He is. So why are you discussing with a mortal the safety of another of your kind? That you must you must value, Renanel. I was under the impression that he had told you that we were bonded to one another. You think you do that lightly over here? Uh TM. To the best of my knowledge, no, I don't think Renanel ever actually mentioned that they were bonded. He did, yeah, he did. The first time you had met him. Oh, the very first time? Yeah. You oh, just weren't okay. clear on what it meant. Fair. Valid. Okay. Um I, I guess I meant I might have thought that was like a like a working relationship or like like a slave master bonding. It as gross as that is. Originally. He bought him. Yuck. Um that place works on slaves, man. Yeah. Sorry, chat. Slavery is gross. Fuck slavery. Um yuck. Okay. Um ah! <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. Uh so what then is my role in in this because I I thought I knew what you wanted from me but uh, I do want to know what you thought that I wanted from you (laughs) and he's 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 like leaning back on the back of your chair. Like this is the most comfortable position in the world. It does not look comfortable, but he's completely fine and enjoying this. I was under the impression that what you desired was me. It's not on the table. I didn't realize I had a chance to be off. And if one is to be placed in a situation that they're not against, but that was also maybe not their first choice, what else is there but to lean in? My partners are willing. If you're interested, you'll come to me. I still have tea to drink, don't I? Exactly. So you want me to keep running out safe? Yes. And we will say all of our debts are saved. Including, and he tugs at the necklace around your neck, who seems to be oddly silent right now. 
Lady Mistlands. Then I will come find you. Good. There's a little, like, boop on your nose. However, I have an incessant nagging in my ear as he kind of looks off to the side. What has happened to the late one? To who? The elf with the pink hair, the one that you... The one who I have, and she he just snaps his fingers, and this, um, you've seen her before, though you don't know why. Um, uh, a pale elf with long black hair. You know her name is Inimus. The, the reason I have this thing. <laughs> Sorry. And Inimus will look at you and go, what has changed? Bless you. Uh, so I I look between the demon and the the soul of the of Animus and I go well we still have every desire to free you Animus that you obviously have been caught up in uh, plans far greater uh, and deeper than anything we could have imagined. But who is that? And I like point at like the image of Alewin. You seem to have both of them like are a little like, what the fuck? Awestruck. Don't know, don't quite know what to say. She. You do not remember her. I don't have any clue as to who she is. I did. I did. I meet her here. Is she from this realm? She's familiar. Um. Uh, is this? Oh wait, is this the is this the bakery girl? Is this is this uh the this is uh, uh Frosty? This is the you one who runs all those bakery shops. You see just a look of absolute horror across Animus's face, and she turns and she rounds on the cunning and she goes, I told you, I told you something was wrong. And she'll start like just going in at him and he'll wave her away and she dissipates into nothing. Ugh. Time is not my area of expertise. I do not know what has happened. But this child no longer exists. Not for you, anyway. She's a... He looks back over the image. She was a child? That seems... That's like a... That's a fully grown person... Okay. We do not age here. There is no time. Do I look like a child? No. Are you a child? Compared to some. Are you compared to me? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Am I a child compared to you? Yes. That is that that's problematic. <laughs> I can hear Daniel laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed. And I will work to figure them out. But you have a job to do, and we will see each other soon. You are to say nothing of this to Ranael. Not a hint. 
he will not go, and if he stays, he will be in horrible agony. I don't mean to be contrary, but I think, uh, not at the moment, but I feel that if it is your desire for me not to speak of this, you could simply make it so. I could. Like I said, I like my partner's winning. Arev looks down and he just turns his hands palm up and he starts looking at them back and forth. And then curling them inwards and biting his lip, he looks up and says, I'm willing. Just the like Mr. Burns, like excellent <laughs> posture. <laughs> Good. And um, I'm going to say that's where we call that call tonight's session. Does anything happen? Uh, I think. I think at this particular instance, um, no, because it's still like, it's still about Renanel, you know, like that. That's kind of what it's about. But like, th there's an exchange. There's there's some sparks. He's hot. I get it. I get yeah. it. He's hot. Uh, I'm gonna say that's for tomorrow. Actually. We'll fit one more thing. Who do you wake up as tomorrow? Roll your dice. Roll my dice now? Oh. Roll your dice. Oh, God. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow I wake up with an entirely different thing. Uh happening to me okay so tomorrow <laughs> you're going to wake up in bed with a pair of gold glasses in your hand and uh i think it's a hmm? i think it's a shame that rev won't ever fucking figure that out i know right <laughs> god damn i we're gonna call it here i'm I sneeze stars. I've been your fucking shenanigan sovereign. Everything is a disaster. And we are here for the shit show. Caro, <laughs> would you like to make it away? <laughs> I have been Caro. I have been Gilly. Uh, you can find me on TikTok at Imaginary Caro and Corner Caro pretty much everywhere else on the internet. Good night. Uh, James. Hey, I'm James. Uh, otherwise, much like Arrow, uh, Mazrix or Mazrix24, pretty much everywhere across the internet. Uh, most notably, our Discord, which is going to show up in chat. Uh, come join it. We're fun people. We uh, send a lot of memes and like cat photos. It's it's great. It's uh, a, a loving, friendly, uh, po energy positive space. Um, but if you don't want to find me there, I guess find me on TikTok where I will probably say very nice things in your comments because I don't believe in negativity. Um, I have been your resident, deep listening, chip addicted, D&D uh, &D water bottle loving. These are all my D&D &D stickers. And uh, mm -hmm. there's there's a tuxedo mask up here because I wanted to be tuxedo mask when I was a, a young human being. <laughs> uh and uh some 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 pokemon stickers because i'm i'm a fool um but yeah it's fantastic anyways that's it i could talk forever but i won't dan hi everybody i'm dan you can find me as the speed of candy on all of the various internet places i have been damascus silver the half elf bard warlock 
who makes very good decisions and gets very lucky with roles and doesn't die sometimes today, I guess. I don't have anything cool to show off. Wait, I do. My dice tower. Yo, Ooh, the D&D D denial sticker. sticker, though. Nice. And I got, and I got a cool crack and dice. They make good stuff. Mm, My dice yes. tower. I just wanted something to show off too. I wanted to be special like James. <laughs> Wait, now I need to show something off. Wait, Carol, show it's, something it's, off. Here's my putty. I have putty. putty. It, started awesome. out, it started out purple and now it's pink because it changes colors. This oh. is my glass of finished character dice. That's yeah. Awful. They're not finished character dice in my case. They're just dice, but <laughs> those are the character. Those are the dice that I finished the campaigns with. Nice. I, I will right. eventually retire this one. Dice shrine. I love it. This, this is the this was made for me by Jess. I care. I'll send you photos later. But there's like it's like a starry, like I, I think I it, I can get it to focus actually if my palm's behind it, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, a yeah. little bit. That's pretty so It's got like it's got like night skies. Yeah. On like the one and the twenty, and it's got like a golden molten starry night sort of sort of like core. Anyways, it's perfect. For, it's perfect for a rev slash variant, and I'm going to cry when I retire it. <laughs> but all right, we'll say good night, and we'll see you guys next week. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. Give me love you. Bye bye.